seven, eight, and nine, we are going to graph an equation in slope-intercept form. And I'm hoping you have enough experience from college algebra and sort of remember graphing. We're going to graph by using the slope and the y-intercept since that's what we've been talking about. In this case, again, y equals mx plus b, m being my slope, the b being the y-intercept. So in this case, m, my slope is going to be 3, b, my y-intercept is negative 5. What you're going to do is start and plot the y-intercept first. So I'm going to plot negative 5 on my y-axis. I'm then going to use my slope to get to the next point. Since this is a whole number, I'm going to write it over 1. The top number is a positive 3, so I'm going to go up. Remember, the top number is the change in the y direction, so up or down. Bottom number is positive, I'm going to go to the right. The bottom number is the change in the x direction, so left or right, but since it's positive, it's going to go right. So from the point I have marked, my y-intercept is negative 5. I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, and to the right 1. That's where my next point is going to be. I now can connect my dots and draw my line. So on the slope, top number, change in y, up or down, bottom number, change in x, left or right. Number 8, again, if my equation's in the form of y equals mx plus b, my m is negative 1 half, my b is 0, we don't have anything on the end, right? Don't have a plus 0, just like on number 6, we didn't have to have the plus 0. So my y-intercept, I'm going to mark right away at 0. My slope is negative 1 half. I'm either going to think of it as negative 1 over 2, or positive 1 over negative 2. The negative is either on the top or on the bottom, not both. If I do both directions, if it's negative 1 over 2, I'm going to go down 1 and to the right 2. Down 1 and to the right 2. If I think of it as positive 1 over a negative 2, I'm going to go up 1 and to the left 2. Up 1 and to the left 2. Obviously, you don't have to do both ways. One or the other is fine. But my dots all line up, I can connect my dots and draw my line. So if my slope is negative, the negative either goes on the top or the bottom, not both. Go ahead and do number 9 while I'm moving the board. So number 9, if I'm picking this out, my slope is going to be negative 3, or as I'm going to write it, negative 3 over 1. My y-intercept, my b value is a positive 2. So you marked positive 2 on your y-axis. I'm going to go down 3 and to the right 1. Down 1, 2, 3, to the right 1. I then have my line if I could draw a straight line. 